Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. Today we're checking out the ST Mix module kit from Bifaco. The ST Mix is a simple and easy to build stereo mixer for Eurorack. It has four channels with volume controls and one auxiliary channel. The left inputs are normal to the right inputs, so you can use it with mono sources as well. It's designed to be an expansion for Bifaco's hex mix system via a ribbon cable in the back, but you can also use it as a standalone module. The kit includes a printed build guide, which you should follow closely, as well as all of the hardware and electronic components needed to complete the build. You also get the power cable, the ribbon cable to connect it to the hex mix module, and Nerlis for mounting it to your rack, as well as the nice black panel and the single PCB. This is one of the easiest Bifaco kits to build, due to its simplicity. I started by placing all of the resistors, diodes and ferrite beads, and soldering them from the top, then trimming and touching up from the back. Next, I installed the IC sockets, using the panel to hold them in place as I turned the board around. After that, I installed all of the capacitors, careful to orient the electrolytic ones correctly. Then I snapped the ICs onto their sockets. There are two male pin headers, one for power and one for connecting it to the hex mix. I used my snake charmer technique to solder those on. Finally, I placed all of the panel components without soldering them, fastened them to the panel, making sure each jack, pot and LED lined up perfectly. Then soldered it all up. That was it, nice and quick. Just check the power connector for shorts, add the knobs, connect the ribbon cables and plug it in. Now let's see if it works. Alright, so let's test the ST mix. I have it right next to my hex mix system here. The hex expander up here, the hex mix is down here, the hex mix VCA is down here. So the ST mix is part of the whole package. It has a ribbon cable that's connected from behind. So I don't need to use these two outputs over here. It's connected to the hex mix module directly. So what I did is I created four stereo voices. Some of them are like auto pan things. One of them is the rings. The other one is a stereo delay, ping pong delay and so on. So let's just see that it's working, see that the audio is going through to the hex mix system. And this way I can have all these stereo voices without taking up any of my mono voices in the hex mix system. Here we go. Here's one. That's the rings right there. Here's, uh, here's the ping pong delay from the Demora. And here's it's an auto pan from the Pico DSP. Sequence from the Micron. Now all of them together. Cool. So all of this is happening without taking up any space, any channels in my hex mix system. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If so, please like and subscribe and consider supporting me on Patreon. Also, check out my other videos on the Hexmix system. It's pretty awesome. See you soon and stay noisy.